Okay, today I'm going to show you guys a cool game I found. It's called Jekaju Online. Or it can be called Gekaju Online, whichever term you prefer. Now, I know what you're all thinking. And no, it is not a game about Jews. Now, this is what the app screen is going to look after you log in. These are my two characters. A half giant and an elf. This one's going to be a warrior and this one's going to be my mage. As you can see, it's called Harry Potter. That sounds funny. When you first start, you land in a room. I suppose it's a dungeon with this orc in front of you. The description says, a rather disgusted orc wants you back to bed. I wonder what that could mean. Oh my goodness! I am not a bitch. I'm not a whore. Well, I would like to click on the yes, yeah, screw you option, but I know not to because in order to get my stuff on quest, I gotta click on the who the fuck are you. Oh, let's just go with that. He wants, he wants to see if I remember last night. I don't remember last night. I didn't do it. That's probably another whore or something. Now I'm gonna click on how the hell do I get out of here? Click on OK. He said if I'm, he'll be sad if I leave, but he'll tell me how to leave. Wow, that's like hypocritical, isn't it? You can move around with W A S D button. Woohoo! The window doesn't close. That's nice. And I can rotate with Q or E or the right mouse button. By dragging around. Now he told me to go talk to strange people in the basement. Ah, it's kind of sad. I, no wonder he lost his bitch. He gotta find a new one. Now for the second NPC. Hello there. Seems like you had a busy night. Yeah, doing your mom. How'd you like that, eh? A a. Ah, he actually says a. That's funny. I'm a tutor of inventory. Yeah, yeah. Nobody gives a damn. Okay, let's go. He tells me. That I'm stupid if I don't know how to complete this task. Well, you're kind of stupid yourself, don't you think? Now, it tells me that all I gotta do is drag some items. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. I never dragged items before. He thinks, uh, he thinks I'm stupid. And that task is gonna be impossible for me. Really? Well, it wasn't impossible when I was doing your mom. Okay, it tells me to put my shovel in my inventory. I already did that for you. And double click on it. It says magical barrier shielding this place, preventing the item usage. Now drag the shovel and the item can be used from quick slot. It just told me to use the item. And they have a magical barrier shielding this place? Does it seem retarded? You little retard. Now give me my reward. The third NPC. Hopefully it's not a dumbass like the other one. It says tutor of combat at skills. Ah, this one sounds, this one's nice to me. It says, hi there, darling. Ah, that sounds pretty good. So, darling, huh. Looks like she's dating me, I suppose. But she has two swords in her hand. Either she's a mass murderer, or she's a psychopath who just wants to date me. These happy-go-lucky NPCs and other peaceful creatures cannot be targeted like that. So I can't attack NPCs. Well, that's a no-duh. Since when can you attack NPCs? To beat monsters up, you have to target them with your cursor. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think there's any more if that doesn't do that. Okay, on to the next NPC, since this one's completely retarded and has nothing better to say. Oh, wait. Tells me mo there's more skills. Click on my skills menu. And there's spells, skills, passive abilities. Wow. Hey! There's an icon called... Middle finger! I wonder what they would do. Okay, that's for another time. I'll show you guys later. Now, next to the next NPC. Whoa! Yeah, she's a psychopath, alright. Oh, yes, darling. Have you brutally... Have you brutally slaughtered the poor monsters and tear the genital off? You get experience points. Wow. Yeah, she's a total psychopath. I underestimated her. We don't just kill the animals. We have to tear the genitals off. It makes the scene mean. But oh well, that's what you do for playing role playing games. She tells me I have to gain some EXP from killing monsters. And use that to buy skills. Hmm, different from any other games I played. The next NPC Tutor of Communication. Ah, I wonder why the Tutor of Communication is holding a sword, a dagger. Or a dagger or some sort. Plus shield. 
She must be one sort of hell of a communication expert. Hello, hello. How are you? Yeah, I, I know how to talk. All I gotta do is type stuff here, talk to everybody. Or talk stuff here to talk to it beside you. That's for world, that's for trading, and this is for wanted. It's for services and party requests. This one's for everybody in the game. System, well you can't really type anything here. Party, talk to your party here. Clan, if you have a clan, talk to them here. And tell, looks like a PM, a whisper to people. Yeah, yeah, that's what basically she all says. She looks devilish for some reason. I don't know why. Those blue eyes don't match. Okay, here is the last NPC. He looks like a hell guard, but he really isn't. He is the tutor tutor of guilds. Level 100. Well, all he teaches you is about stuff about guilds. Guilds are something you can join after you reach level 10. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know that. In order to guild, you have to be at level 10. Well, yeah, you just repeated that. Each character class has its own guild. There are some guilds that accept members from multiple classes. Some guilds are called sub guilds. These guilds that require you to complete uh, other guilds. Sub guilds in general are more powerful than normal guilds. Some examples are the Rowans, who are the sub guild of Samurais. Wow, Samurais. Sounds cool. For new players, the best guild choice is the Adventurers Guild, which is located here. That's total bullshit! The best guild here for noobs is not Adventure Guild. It's called the Mountie Guild. It's a guild where you learn to ride animals as your pets. That would make transportation much easier. Okay, now give me the reward. Oh, I'm here to tell you about a few more important details about this game. First of all, you have to know the main command button, which is insert. Which is the insert button on your keyboard. What it does is it makes you regen your EP, SP, and HP. Now your EP is the point you need to use your skills and stats. Another cool thing I want to show you would be the camera views. You can use the Jujuku mode, which is the one we're using right now, the old client mode, which I can't show you right now, but I'll show you later, and the FPS mode, which is look like what you're doing when you're playing a first person shooter game. But take my advice, the Jujuku mode is still the best. And to clear some things, this game looks like RuneScape, but it's not. And this game is completely free. By free, I mean completely, totally free. No members, no item mall, no uh, those payment craps. You can donate if you want to, but you don't get a reward if you donate. And one last point about the game. Even though I'm level 2 and level 9, this is the account I made just for making the video. I have a really high level account in the game. And trust me, I'm not lying.